Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India Welcome to the lecture on momentum conservation equation. So, uh, in the last class we discussed about the uh, conservation equation for mass and uh, also we uh, had the concept about the total derivative or the uh, substantial derivative and uh, uh, we had seen that when we are uh, talking about uh, the terms like rho uh, capital du by dt or uh, rho dv by dt or do, uh, rho uh, dw by dt. So, they will be uh, the uh, terms for the x, y and z momentum and uh, keeping that in mind we are going to have the uh, expression for the equations of uh, conservation of momentum. So, uh, what uh, we had seen uh, you know if you talk about the uh, momentum conservation equation, it is basically derived from the Newton's second law, which tells that the rate of change of momentum of a fluid particle equals the sum of the forces on the particle. So, uh, you will have uh, that uh, rate of increase of momentum that will be sum of forces. Now, rate of increase of uh, momentum uh, for the fluid particle, so for the x, y and z uh, uh, direction that momentum uh, per unit volume that will be you know represented by rho uh, du by dt or rho dv by dt or rho w by dt which is not appearing fully here. So, uh, that is the substantial derivative du by dt or dv by dt or dw by uh, dt and uh, uh, that also is uh, you know we had already seen that uh, you know for the uh, component rho du by dt. So, that will be you know uh, uh, dou of rho u by uh, dou t plus dive of uh, rho u u. So, uh, while uh, deriving that expression for uh, the uh, x momentum term uh, and using that uh, total derivative concept what we saw this uh, this is uh, rho uh, d u by d t. So, that is uh, you know that is for the x momentum and uh, that is uh, basically uh, uh, becoming equal to uh, do of uh, rho u by do t. So, this is uh, the uh, term uh, taking time into uh, picture and then it will be dive of rho u uh, u. So, that way uh, you had uh, this uh, x momentum. Now, uh, similarly you will have the expression for the y momentum that is rho dv by dt. So, that will be do of rho v by dou t plus dive uh, rho v u. So, that is uh, then uh, rho of uh, uh, dw by dt. So, like that uh, we had seen uh, these uh, terminologies in our last class when we tried to define these uh, substantial derivative uh, uh, term. Now, uh, coming to the, uh, the momentum conservation equation uh, what we see that in this case you have the uh, you know so once you have the rate of increase of momentum of fluid particle that is uh, by this term and then we are going to have the discussion on uh, the sum of forces on the um, uh, fluid particle. So, uh, the uh, forces we have to analyze and the, uh, the forces uh, which are typically you know uh, there which are acting on the uh, fluid particle they are the uh, surface forces and the body forces. So, you have uh, uh, you know the uh, uh, pressure force or you have the uh, viscous forces are there. Then uh, also you have forces like, uh, so normally pressure and viscous forces they uh, we used to take them in terms uh, you know uh, and uh, we have also the uh, uh, the um, gravity term. So, that is normally taken as the source term. So, that uh, you will see that when we 
uh, derive these uh, uh, equations then that time they are taken as the uh, source terms. So, um, uh, you know um, uh, if you uh, talk about uh, the uh, stresses which are uh, acting. So, you have the uh, you have the surface forces which are taken as the separate terms in the momentum equation and uh, the uh, body force as we discussed that we take as the source term in the uh, uh, equation. Now, if you talk about the uh, you know uh, uh, and component of forces. So, um, so, you will have these and we will talk about the x component of forces and then we will equate to the uh, momentum term. So, we will have the rate of change of momentum that is equal to the force. So, uh, so we will have uh, the uh, you know uh, forces that uh, uh, we have to see uh, in the uh, x direction. So, now if you talk about this uh, you know uh, fluid element. So, uh, you have uh, uh, the different uh, you know stresses which are uh, acting on it and uh, uh, now you have uh, as we have seen that you have the notation for the uh, stress also like tau x x tau x y and tau x z. So, one will be the direction of the stress another will be uh, we will be that uh, and, uh, you know plane on which uh, the normal uh, direction is there. So, that way you have uh, uh, these two uh, uh, you know i j is uh, there while we define these uh, uh, stress terms. So, what we see that uh, we have uh, the uh, pressure term uh, and also we have uh, uh, the 9 viscous stress uh, components are there which are uh, acting on the uh, fluid and uh, uh, that is what is uh, shown in uh, this uh, picture. So, uh, the uh, pressure is the normal stress that is uh, P and uh, the viscous stress is uh, denoted by the term tau. So, that is uh, the uh, you know uh, uh, the normal practice which we have and also we know that uh, we have uh, the uh, direction tau uh, i j. So, you will have uh, you know tau i j. So, you know uh, it was will be uh, indicating that uh, direction of in which the stress will be acting and uh, also uh, uh, you will have the i direction that is uh, the surface normal to that uh, i direction. So, the, that, that you have. Uh, so, accordingly you will have tau x y tau y x tau x z tau you know uh, z x or so. So, that way you will have uh, the these 9 uh, stress components. Uh, now, uh, what we uh, need to know is that uh, uh, you have to analyze the, the forces which are uh, resulting from these uh, uh, surface stresses and uh, that will be force will be basically uh, because of the uh, surface stress and then multiplied by the area. So, force will be the uh, stress times uh, the area. So, that way uh, you will have the uh, you have to be uh, finding the uh, forces and uh, you will have uh, certainly positive and negative sign depending upon uh, you know uh, the uh, uh, in, in the place where it is um, applied. So, on the coordinate axis if you are on the positive side you will have positive sign and otherwise you will have the uh, negative side and uh, you will be finding the net force in the x direction and it will be uh, the sum of the forces which will be acting uh, in that direction on the uh, fluid element. So, uh, we will be uh, talking about uh, these uh, forces and if you look at uh, the uh, you know the forces which are uh, you know uh, uh, acting. So, uh, you see you will have the pressure uh, force. So, pressure being normal force you will have uh, the element. So, on this side uh, the negative x direction. So, you will have p minus dou p by dou x into half of delta x and similarly on or from this side you will have p plus dou p by dou x into half delta x. So, that is uh, you know for the uh, pressure term. Now, if you come to the uh, tau x x term. So, uh, tau x x term again uh, you will have uh, this for uh, the, this direction. So, uh, from here it is on the negative x direction. So, it will be tau x x minus and it is half delta x is the um, you know half of this uh, length. So, it will be uh, dou of tau x x by dou x into half delta x. 
similarly you know, on this side so we are uh, basically neglecting the uh, you know uh, uh, the terms which is coming after the second term in the taylor's uh, series expansion so you will have tau xx plus uh, dou tau xx by dou x into half delta x so this will be uh, on these two sides now uh, if you talk about other stress components like uh, this term so if you see this its direction is uh, you know uh, z i mean x so this is uh, tau the second component is x and uh, the uh, this is uh, perpendicular to that uh, z direction plane so you will have tau z so this is tau z x and uh, since from the center this is uh, half of delta z above so on this face uh, the stress which will be acting will be tau z x plus uh, uh, you know dou of tau z x by dou z into half of uh, delta z similarly on this face uh, you will have uh, tau z x minus of dou of tau z x by dou z into half of delta z. So, that way you will have these uh, stress components and then they will be multiplied by these uh, areas. So, that way in, in this side uh, if you look at this will be delta x into uh, delta y. So, uh, so, that way if you look at uh, uh, terminologies like uh, uh, you know tau y x or uh, you will have tau x x and tau z x. So, you will have uh, you know uh, different uh, you know these uh, value of stresses and we will analyze uh, the uh, value of uh, uh, these stresses. So, uh, coming to the uh, different phases if you uh, come to the uh, east and west phase. So, if you come to uh, this and this phase. So, what you see you have the uh, stress p minus dou p by dou x half delta x here and this is p plus uh, uh, dou p by dou x into half delta x. So, this is uh, here and also similarly you have tau x x minus dou tau x x by dou x into half delta x and this side you have tau x x plus dou tau x x by dou x into half delta x. So, if you talk about the uh, you know on the east and west faces. So, on uh, pair of east and west faces if you uh, you know uh, take the uh, uh, forces into consideration. So, what you see you see the on the left hand side because of the pressure you get p minus dou p by dou x into half of delta x. So, that will be there and then uh, you have uh, the uh, uh, negative of uh, the tau x x minus uh, dou tau x x by dou x into half delta x. So, that is uh, uh, the uh, this uh, uh, dou uh, tau x x term is. Now, uh, in this case in the case of pressure since uh, we take the uh, compressive as the positive one. So, we are taking this positive value. Now, uh, then you have uh, the uh, term uh, you have if you go from uh, the opposite side. So, uh, now this is basically because of the uh, sign, uh, sign it is having this uh, positive value. Now, uh, if you take the uh, from the right hand side your pressure term is in the negative x direction. So, you will have minus of p plus the dou p by dou x into half of delta x. And uh, then uh, you have the term uh, that is uh, tau x x plus dou tau x x by uh, dou x into half delta x. So, this term now uh, this term all these terms. So, uh, this term as you so if you take whole term now uh, this uh, uh, you know whole term. Uh, if you take uh, that will be multiplied by the area that uh, area of that phase. So, this this phase so this is your uh, uh, delta z and this is your delta y. So, it will be multiplied by delta y delta z. So, this is uh, the uh, you know uh, forces which are on the uh, uh, E and W phase in that uh, you know uh, x direction. So, uh, so if you uh, add these uh, terms. So, you will have uh, 
you know this p and this p will uh, cancel and uh, so you will get uh, you know the minus of dou p by dou x and uh, uh, you know uh, you, and you have this uh, uh, delta x uh, term will come. So, this is half delta x and this is half delta x. So, that uh, uh, it will be delta x, delta y and delta z that will be uh, going out and in this side uh, uh, you have uh, uh, you know uh, tau x x uh, and uh, and here also you have uh, plus tau x x. So, this minus tau x x and plus tau x x will cancel. So, you will have the term uh, plus of dou tau x x by dou x and here again you have plus dou tau x x by dou x and then you have delta x term, term coming into picture. So, the term becomes dou of tau x x by dou x and in both the cases you have delta x uh, coming here and delta y delta z is outside. So, you will have uh, uh, the term that is uh, delta x, delta y and delta z. So, this is uh, you know on the uh, pair of uh, four uh, these east and west faces if you take uh, that is how this uh, term is coming a minus dou p by dou x plus uh, dou of uh, tau x x uh, you know by uh, dou x into delta x delta y uh, delta z. Now, uh, if you uh, take the uh, net force uh, in x direction on the pair of uh, north and south faces. So, so it will be uh, net force in x direction on pair of faces north and south. So, uh, that can be seen uh, this is your north face and this is your uh, south face and the forces which are acting in the uh, x direction. So, you will have tau z x and this is tau z x on uh, this side. So, you will have uh, accordingly uh, you will have uh, the uh, you know. Uh, so, um, uh, you can have uh, so no now this is uh, this is uh, north and this is uh, south face this is your top and this is bottom face. So, you will have uh, north face is tau x uh, y x plus tau dou of tau y x by delta y into half of delta y. So, this will be on that face that is north face and this is your uh, uh, south face this is uh, you know uh, east and this is uh, uh, west face. So, uh, you will have uh, so once you see its uh, component in the x direction. So, uh, that will be uh, if you look at minus of tau y x minus dou of tau y x by uh, dou y into half of delta y. So, that will be uh, your uh, in the x direction. So, that will be multiplied by delta x delta z and then uh, we are adding the, the another term. So, that will be uh, you know uh, tau y x plus dou of tau y x by uh, dou y and half of delta y and, and that will be again multiplied by delta uh, you know uh, x delta z. So, uh, if you see that again tau x tau x is gone and you have these two uh, plus terms. So, you will have dou of tau y x by dou y and into delta x delta y and delta z. So, so this uh, is uh, we are taking uh, having that net force in the x direction on the pair north and south face. Similarly, if you take the uh, net force in x direction on top and bottom faces. So, on uh, top and bottom face you will have tau z x plus uh, dou of tau z x by dou z into half delta z. So, on the top face and on the bottom face you have tau z x minus half uh, you know tau z, uh, dou of tau z x by dou z into half of delta z. So, that is uh, there on the bottom face and we multiplied by the uh, area. So, that will be again uh, minus of tau z x minus dou of tau z x by dou z into half delta z and uh, this will be multiplied by delta x delta y and then we are further adding uh, tau uh, z x plus uh, dou of tau uh, z x 
by dou z into half delta z and uh, that will be again multiplied by delta x delta y. So, this will be again becoming same as uh, dou of uh, uh, tau z x by dou z into delta x delta y delta z. So, uh, what you see that uh, you have uh, the uh, total force which will be acting on per unit volume uh, on the fluid. So, that will be equal to the sum of uh, these uh, forces net force which is acting in the x direction. So, if you are uh, having that uh, you know net force in the x direction. So, your uh, net force in x direction. So, that will be summation of uh, uh, you know these uh, forces which are acting on these different uh, uh, faces and their uh, components in the x direction. So, that will be uh, you know it will be sum. So, uh, you know it will be uh, total force. So, uh, you know to that is it is not the net force basically it is the um, you know uh, total force. So, net force we have uh, got in x direction for by the uh, on the different faces. Now, we are going to have the total force. So, total force per unit volume on fluid due to these surface stresses. So, it will be sum of the uh, these uh, uh, forces which we have derived in our so for the uh, east and west phase, for the north and south phase and for also the uh, you know top and uh, bottom phase. So, that will be sum of that. So, you are getting dou of uh, minus p plus tau x x by dou x plus dou of tau uh, y x by dou y plus dou of tau z x by dou z. So, you know, this is uh, you know uh, this is the uh, uh, this is the force which is uh, acting uh, in the uh, you know it, it is because of the uh, x momentum. So, it is the total force in the x direction and uh, uh, so you can write uh, you know uh, that uh, your x momentum uh, you know uh, equation that will be becoming. So, you will have to equate this to the uh, x momentum what we uh, you know rate of change of momentum. So, that is the so, that is equated to that uh, force and apart from that you will have other uh, forces body forces or, or gravity forces. So, uh, by nature. So, uh, so, you will have that term is taken as the source term. So, that you can have the source term in the um, you know x direction. So, if you take the uh, you know uh, x momentum equation. So, so, x component of the momentum equation that we will be uh, writing, we will be writing as uh, rho of uh, du by dt. So, that is what we had seen that for the x component of the momentum that will be equated to the uh, you know uh, force which is uh, acting in the x direction. So, that will be uh, minus of uh, so dou of minus p plus tau x x by dou x plus uh, dou of uh, tau y x by dou y plus dou of tau z x by dou z plus s m x. So, this is your uh, source term uh, in the x direction. So, that is uh, s m x. Similarly, if you uh, try to have the uh, you know uh, y momentum equation in that case uh, again you will have to do the analysis of the you know, forces. So, uh, similar on the, on the line uh, if you try to have uh, the uh, equation for the uh, y component. So, y component uh, equation can be written as rho of uh, uh, dv by dt. So, that uh, u will be replaced with v. So, that is uh, you know uh, rate of change of the momentum in the y direction and that will be the uh, force that is in y direction. So, when we are talking about the uh, y direction. So, in that case you will have dou of uh, you know tau x y by dou x. Then you will have uh, dou of uh, minus p plus uh, uh, tau y y and, and divided by uh, dou y and plus you have dou of uh, uh, tau uh, z y 
and divided by dou z and then you will have the source term in the you know, y direction. So, that will be denoted by S m y. So, this is the momentum equation of for the uh, y component. Uh, in, in the same line we can also write for the uh, you know for the uh, uh, z component. So, that will be uh, rho of d w by d t. So, that is your uh, in the z direction that will be uh, dou of uh, tau uh, x z by dou x. Uh, similarly, you will have dou of uh, uh, tau y z by uh, dou y and then here uh, that uh, pressure term will come in the um, uh, you know uh, uh, this part. So, it will be dou of uh, minus p plus uh, tau z z and, and by dou z and then you will have the uh, source term in the uh, z direction. So, that way these are the uh, momentum conservation equation which you get uh, if you try to derive. Now, in this case as you see that uh, uh, you will have you know the, the sign which is uh, associated with the pressure. So, if you see that pressure, so it is opposite to, uh, to that uh, which is associated with the viscous normal stresses. Uh, you know because the uh, usual sign convention when you take now that uh, will be taking the tensile as uh, the positive and the pressure is normally the uh, you know uh, which is by definition a, a compressive uh, normal. So, that is why uh, we take it as a uh, negative sign. So, accordingly uh, you know uh, we have to have the uh, consideration of the uh, sign convention. Now, if you uh, talk about the uh, you know uh, we are taking the um, account of the surface uh, forces, surface stresses. Now, these is source terms that is S m x or S m y or S m z. Uh, you know they are because of the inclusion of the body forces. So, uh, you know uh, normally you know the gravity force which is there may in many cases when you will have the uh, suppose it when the flow in tandis is there. So, and when there will be uh, uh, gravity uh, term uh, coming into picture because of the uh, natural convection or, or because of the buoyancy and all that. So, uh, in those cases you will have to induce these uh, uh, source terms and uh, when you have to model this. So, what you can see is uh, certainly when you take gravity into uh, you know consideration in that case. Uh, so, um, uh, for uh, uh, gravity uh, taking into consideration when you try to uh, model this uh, gravity. So, your S m x uh, that will be 0, S m y will be 0 and S m z. So, that will be uh, basically the, uh, the uh, force which is in the z direction and that is your gravitational force. And since we are uh, talking about the that force per unit volume, so you will have uh, um, mass by volume. So there will be density times uh, the g, and then that will be with negative sign because it is acting in the um, you know negative direction. So that term will be uh, coming here. So this S m z will be replaced by the uh, rho g term minus of rho g. So, this is the normal practice uh, you will see that you will have source terms. So, whenever we uh, try to solve and we have extra force coming into picture magnetic forces or the gravity forces which are basically coming as uh, the, uh, the, the source terms only. So, they will be uh, given and their values will be provided and then the equation will be uh, solved. So, so that is the uh, normal way of uh, you know taking uh, these uh, uh, momentum terms and uh, these are th these three are the uh, momentum conservation uh, equation uh, which will be further used when we uh, are going to deal with uh, the equations which are derived like Navier Stokes equations or when we deal with uh, the turbulence modeling in our coming lectures. Thank you very much.